Good day, my fellow gamers and non-gamers. This is Drist, and I am currently playing Shroud of the Avatar. In-game name is Shirtugle. And uh, before I get started with anything, I just want to show you guys something. I've shown on a previous video this uh, fabulous Marquee Dragon mask, that one from Marquee Dragon. He uh, he raffles these off during his shows, so if you want one, um, watch his shows and enter into the drawing, and you could win one of these. There's very few of them in the game at the moment. So they're kind of a hot item. And uh, before when I show this off, I was not a proper dragon, meaning I did not have the ability to breathe fire. But that has since changed. I have fully matured as a dragon. And let's see if I can find what I'm looking for here. Where are you at? There we go. I am fully mature as a dragon. There we go. Fire breathing dragon. Outstanding. Love this uh, mask here. Um, and then uh, one other thing I picked up today is this remote bank access. It's a new device to this game. Um, up till now, if you wanted to access your bank and all the uh, stuff that you had in your bank, you had to run over to the banker and uh, talk to him and access your goods that way. So they've introduced this this little device which allows you to remotely access this wherever you have one of these set up and uh, I am going to set one of these up right here I am currently in my basement I have property which is property is very important in this game and this is my basement and uh, I do all my crafting and all my stuff right down here so it would be beneficial for me to access some goods I have over at my bank so I'm setting this up right here and it's, uh, I made the mistake when I was trying to play around with this earlier of trying to hang it on a wall because I thought it was a wall hanging device. It's not. It actually sets on your floor. So there we go. And I set it right here because over here I have all my little baggies, my bags with all my uh, resources and goods and stuff in. I'm uh, very much a uh, everything has a place type of person, efficiency and uh, order. And so as you can see, I have my little bags. That's my ore here, and then that's my uh, crystals and my crystal fragments and ingots and bindings and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I love the recent change they made, which allowed you to place bags as decorations and then use them as storage. So I have all these here. I have two right here, which I have various purposes for. These are ones I have various purposes for, and then I have one right there. So, you know, they're a fabulous new addition that allows us to get something really cool looking in our uh, places and uh, added storage as well. So as far as this goes, though, let's show you how it works. All you do is click on it like you do any, anything else, and it's basically just a bank UI. And, of course, I have it set for local, but you can uh, you know change it to everything just like you normally would with the other ones but you can't access the banks at other locations that would be a form of quick travel if they could all you can really do access is your local bank which is this is the stuff I have in my local bank not a lot and then um, let's say I decided I want this gothic mansion uh, deed I have here you know I just pull that out and voila it take it from a bank to here so that's that so those are my two recent purchases I got today, and I got these from Market Dragon's Game Store, which if you check our description in the link, he sells them uh, these on his store, MarkyDragon.com, or I'm sorry, Marky Dragon. the link is in my description. And um, if you like Shroud of the Avatar and you would like to buy an account, those are also purchasable via his website. So click on that link, go peruse the site, and see what you like. And one other thing is this basement here is an arena style village basement. I also got it from, you know, purchasing. And uh, it's got to be one of the coolest basements I have found. So there you go. And in the description, links in the description. So without further ado, let's move on to the good stuff. Um, I want to talk about your health and what you do, can do to increase that number. And this is the health bar right here. Currently, I'm sitting on 627. That's with gear and everything, but I'm going to take all my gear off, minus the mask. We'll keep the mask on because we want to see what my base stats is before all the gear. Because all these, all this gear has stats attached to it, which boosts my uh, numbers. 
and that's all fine and dandy, but there's a very base number I'm working with here too. So there we go. Without anything else, and I left the mask on because it doesn't add any health, uh, health to my uh, light, my bar here. I'm 493, which is actually not bad. Not bad at all. And then, of course, when I started adding my gear, which you can see, this piece has a plus 20 to health. And this piece has a um, 2 plus 2 to strength and 5.3 to health. It, that starts adding to that number. So there's two ways you can add to that number. One is your strength. Your strength will do two things. It adds to um, how much weight you can carry, how, how powerful your uh, blows with your swords and stuff are. This is your strength uh, stat right here. And that, so strength adds to your health, along with a few other things. And just health itself will add to your health. So this piece of gear up here I had has uh, 2 strength and 5.3 health. So that strength will add to this number here, which makes me stronger and carry more and stuff. But it also will add health to that. And, um, of course, it has 5.3 in health, so that will actually help add that directly to that number as well. So that's the two ways you can boost that, through stats from your strength and through stats from actual health. So let's throw this back on. I don't want to be running around in my loincloth here. And there we go. Get the gloves back on. So... There is a number in this game that's kind of hidden. I mean, it's not really meant to be a public number. And that number is your adventure level. There is a way to find it. I used to know. I'd forgotten, and honestly, I don't really check because my adventure level is not important. But each time that adventure level goes up, your base stats will go up too. So that's the first way that number, that health number will actually go up. Is as you progress and you're leveling and adventuring and stuff and your adventure level, that hidden adventure level goes up, then your base stats will go up too. Um, but that's minor. I, I've only noticed it increase once and I must have, I must have looked at my health right before it uh, increased and right after because I'm going along and I happened to glance at my health and I saw it was one number and then moments later I must have, I fought something or whatever and I checked again, forget why, and all of a sudden it was increased and it registered in my head. Hmm, I must have leveled up there. But uh, like I said, it's an invisible number, but it's one of the ways that that number can increase. And then like I said, the other way that number can increase is with your gear and the stats that you put on your gear. Uh, look at this piece, like I said, plus 20 to health, which that adds to that. Um, this piece, 20, uh, 21 to health, which adds to that. This one, 5 to health, which adds to that. Um, 2 to strength and 5.3 to health, which both of those will add health to my health bar there. Um, this one here has a plus 20 to health and a 4.2 to strength, so that's really darn good. Both those strength and the health will add to that. My sword over here, um, nothing there adds to that. But those other stats are important too. This ring up here, um, 2 strength, 10.5 health. So both those will add to it. And then this one, uh, my necklace, plus 2 strength, 10.5 to that health. So all this, those stats that come for all this gear will put add this number. And that number will go up based upon those numbers. And you get those uh, stats by two ways. You can um, enchant your gear via this alchemy station. Or... You can master and well, not it's not and or it's not or it's and and you can uh, masterwork each piece of gear with the blacksmithing station here, or if it's a piece of cloth armor, using the tailoring station. So for me, it's chainmail. I would masterwork it with the blacksmithing station. So that's how you gain added stats to your um, gear, and that's how you can affect directly affect that health bar there. But there's actual skills that you can uh, train up that will increase that number too. And right now I'm just going to talk about the innate skills. Those are the skills that once you have trained them up to a point, they will add, there's nothing you have to do, they're going to add a set amount to your, um, your health bar at all times. And the first one, obviously, I'm going to talk about is in heavy armor. There is one stat in here that will add to that health bar. <clears throat> And that is this one, Endurance. Endurance will add strength to that health bar, which strength will uh, increase your carrying capacity. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll uh, add power to your swings with your swords and all this other stuff. And it adds health to that health bar. 
So um, endurance right here, I got to level 60, which means currently it adds 7.5 strength to my um, my stats. So that's one, the first way that I'm that boosting that number there. And uh, you can actually take full advantage of this um, heavy armor by you see down there required equipment heavy armor so you have to be wearing a piece of heavy armor to be taking advantage of that stat but it's not as bad as it sounds and let me show you why this mask does not constitute heavy armor so we'll take that off this one in fact let's do this a different way how can you take advantage of that stat let me show you so I took off the, uh, the leggings and I'm still getting, there I am, I'm still getting um, the bonus there. And I'm taking off the gloves. The gloves are just cotton so they're not relevant, which also means I'm wearing cotton gloves and I'm still getting the bonus, so obviously that's not the one. Take off the boots to see if that's the one. Nope, nope, still getting the bonus there. Obviously your wand and your sword aren't the ones. And this ring, uh, it rings not it, but we'll take it off anyways. Still getting the bonus. And take off the necklace. The necklace is not it. Still getting the bonus. So I've taken all that stuff off. I'm still getting the bonus here, which means the only piece of gear that uh, will determine whether you get the bonuses or not is that chest piece. As long as you're wearing a heavy armor chest piece, which is chain mail or plate mail, you will get that bonus there. Which means you can mix and match your gear however you want, like I did with the cloth gloves, because I want to reduce my fizzle chance. You can mix and match them, and as long as you're wearing a chest piece that's heavy armor, either plate or chain, you will get the innate bonuses of this heavy armor tree. So that's quite fantastic. I love that. So let's put this stuff back on. And we're moving on. So the next uh, one we're going to talk about is down in the magic area, and it's under the sun. Let's look at that one. And it is this one, the Sun Worship. And as you can see, at my current level, it will give me 0 to 6 plus strength to my stat bar, which, of course, strength increases my carry capacity and my you know, power, as well as it adds to my health bar. But the one stipulation with this uh, skill is it increases strength when the sun is above the horizon, works even when indoors and the sun is invisible, which means... Excuse me. Even which means the sun has to be up for me to get advan take advantage of this. Um, whether I'm indoors, whether I'm outdoors, whether I'm in a mine mining, as long as that sun is above the horizon, I will get this bonus. But once the sun goes down, I lose this bonus. So that's kind of the downside to this one. <clears throat> but this skill will increase the amount of time that the sun stays up. Which means if you're going to take advantage of this one, you should train this one up too. And at my current level, it adds three hours, uh, three solar light additional hours. So it keeps the sun up for three additional solar hours. So I, you, I would strongly recommend once you train these to uh, this one up that you follow through and train this one up too. This one makes this one better. So that's another sun tree. And uh, another thing, regardless of whether you're going to swords or pull arms or uh, bow and arrow or one of these other magic trees, you this bonus will apply to you if it's trained. You don't have to be specialized in the sun tree here to get that bonus. As long as you have these trained, they're innate skills. You don't have to actively use them, and you will get the bonus. So that's a really big plus right there. So moving on, under the earth um, tree here, there is one, and that is this one right here, Bulwark of Earth. It, as you can see, adds strength, which of course strength increases my carry capacity, increases the power of my, uh, you know, sword swings and stuff, and also increases my health. It also uh, gives adds damage resistance, but you know that's not what I'm talking about right now. So this one right here will add my to my health bar as well. And like I said, it's an innate skill. You don't have to actively do it. Don't have to be pursuing the earth tree at all. Just train this one up. Well, you gotta train. You gotta train this one first to 40. This one to 40, and then before you can unlock this one, then you can train this up as high as you want. So that's that one. So moving on under tactics here. Now tactics is where you find most of the main ones for health. 
and strength and some other things and uh, obviously this is the the heavy hitter right here health itself it adds straight health to the health bar I have it level 70 and it adds plus 70 health to my bar and uh, there you go pretty self-explanatory there then we move down to this one, strength. This one will add straight strength to my bar, which does several things like I've said. Increases my carry capacity, how powerful I am, and of course adds health to health bar. So once you've trained this one up, as high as you want, train this one up. I got them both to 70 in time, I will G on them or grandmaster them. I currently have them because I have other things that are higher priority for me. And then this one, you know, I'm kind of confused on this one. At one point in time, I could have swore that every time this thing leveled on me, my health bar went up. So I'm thinking, okay, that one, I need that one because it's in, you know, it increases my health as well. It also increases another one, my carry capacity, which is very important. You want to you want a large carrying capacity when you're out there missioning and level, um, adventuring and collecting all those resources. The more you can carry, the long, longer you can stay out there. So I currently can carry 380 here. If I pop this uh, skill here, I can jump it up to 421, which is important. If I keep the number 421 in my mind, I can actually boost my weight here up until this number gets to 421. And even though I, at that point in time without this, I'll be overweight here. But I know that uh, as soon as I pop this skill, this number will jump to 421, which gives me the ability to recall back to my home. So, you know, this is a fabulous skill right here, which I'm going to jump back and talk to that one real quick. It's not an innate skill. You actually have to actively use it. But, um, where is it? This one right here. Strength of Earth. So when I activate it, it's an active skill. It will add 11.6 strength for 2 minutes and 7 seconds. I currently have a level 50, which means that it turns at 380 into 421 when I pop it. Which, like I said, allows me to carry more and yet still be able to recall back to my home which saves me a lot of time there so um, I just had to make that mind a slight detour so let's get back on track now so that's a uh, heavy lifter so if anybody can clear this one up for me out there post it in the chat or in the uh, comments and I greatly appreciate it does that the, that number actually increase your health or is that just strictly increasing your carrying capacity that's the question and that's it. Those are the main ones. Uh, we talked about the stats on your or gear and then the hit, hidden uh, adventure level, which also increases that health bar. And, of course, the various, and we only talked about the innate skills except for that one minor detour because those innate skills, like I said, apply whether you're actively using something or not. They're always there. As long as they're trained, they're always there. So... Um, that is how you can increase that health bar and while yes health is not everything health is not the end all and be all of staying alive your resistance is a big part of it too and your avoidance is a big part you, if you can resist damage and you can avoid damage this number doesn't have to be large to be able to be a powerhouse out there but it's not one or the other why not have both have good resistance have good avoidance and then get this number up as high as you can so there there it's a win-win for me so I currently like uh, you're looking at it right now at 668, which is actually pretty darn good. I don't come across too, and the game's still early access, so you know this will change. And maybe I'm just not around the right crowd. I don't see a lot of people walk running around with 600 plus um, health. Um, it works for me. I don't have any problems out there. So, anyways, if you uh, like this tutorial. And you like what you've seen so far, I'm doing E videos and I'm doing Shadow of the Avatar videos. Which if you like what you're seeing with Shadow of the Avatar and you're not playing this game and you would like to play this game, there is a link in the description to Marky Dragon Game Codes where he can uh, sell you a, um, a membership to this game. And the great thing about this game is it's not a subscription based game. You buy the one time fee to get the game. And then the only time you have to drop more money onto it is when they come out with Chapter 2 you would need to buy the new new chapter with the new content and then chapter 3 and so on and so forth. But as long as you have the most updated chapter, which is a one-time fee, you're good to go. And then, of course, you could be like me and spend a little extra money on a remote access bank or on... Uh, here we go. Here we go. Where are you at? Or on a fire breathing... Oh, I just bowed. There we go. I bowed to my opponent there. 
or on a fire breathing emote for my amazing dragon mask here, or on a uh, a arena va uh, style basement. So um, please, if you like what you see, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I very much appreciate the support, and I am open to any kind of criticisms you can offer me, any pointers, any way I can make this better, or anything you would like to see me do. Uh, type that in the comment section, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.